you guys welcome back to my channel for today's sunday video on the beauty topic of today i am discussing top 6 mauve dark purple lipstick that suit brown indian skin tone this category of lipstick is my absolute favorite i love it because you can rock it without makeup bare skin or just with minimalistic makeup like i have done today like there's just mascara on my eyes and a little bit of brown eye shadow just on the lash line nothing else very simple makeup look or no makeup at all and a bold statement lipstick is all you need for when you can't think of what you have to wear and go out so if you're interested to know which are my top 6 selections in this category of lipstick both drugstore and high end then please keep on watching but before that don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below the big red subscribe button and join our beautiful family and also the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified every sunday when i upload a new video for now you can keep on watching Okay so I'm actually going to go as per price range the first lipstick I have over here is the Calabar Velvet Matte Lipstick in shade 04 Blush and I have mentioned this lipstick quite a lot of times on my YouTube channel I absolutely love this color it's a lovely um more purple burgundy color very very dark and looks very rich on the lips it's highly pigmented on the first swipe of the lipstick you will have full blown pigment and it lasts for a good 4 to 5 hours since it's bullet lipstick it doesn't last for very very long but it does last for a decent amount of time or uh, this is velvet matte not super matte so the ones with dry lips would love this and it's also very affordable it's like somewhere around 300 350 bucks so i love this color it looks darker in the tube than it is on the lips on the lips it's more burgundy than it is purple uh, it's not straight out purple none of my lipsticks are straight out purple purple but they all have a little bit of burgundy undertones with different formulas all of these are of course very close to each other so yeah this is the first pick it's not that this is my favorite one i'm going according to price range because i love all of these the next one is the nika ultra matte lipstick in the shade cleopatra this is another one of my favorites am i going to rave about nika ultra matte in another one of my videos absolutely uh because this formula is so good you guys you need to have you tried it yet you need to try this lipstick in your life and this color oh this color is so good so good oh i can't get enough of this color it's too too damn good it looks so rich on the lips it's absolute royalty and i love wearing this bare skin with just mascara and eyeliner it's my top pick of whenever i can't decide which lipstick to apply i just put this and i'm good to go i actually just apply lipstick this color and nothing else not even eyeliner and mascara and go out of the house and with glowing skin like a little bit of moisturizer looks so classy and rich i love it this is actually very close to the color bar color but i think this is more dark when it comes on the lips both are pretty dark all of these lipsticks are but this one like you will see in the lip swatches just looks more richer than the color bar one also this is ultra matte so it's super matte whereas this is velvet matte so that's like the difference between the two and this is priced somewhere around the 600 700s range i'm not very sure i'm going to leave the prices on the screen The next lipstick I have is the one I'm wearing right now from the beginning of this video. It's another one of my favorites. It's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade uh, Copenhagen. I love using this lipstick. I use it in so many of my videos and you're ask me all the time. Uh so it's a soft matte lip cream formula. Of course, if you're familiar with Miss Claire soft matte lip creams or just a uh, lip cream in general, it's pigmented, it's rich in pigment. but it's very comfortable to wear on the lips it's a very moussey formula glides on feels very lightweight and cloudy uh, on the lips and lasts for a good 6 hours i would say but it does transfer it's not transfer proof in any way uh i would say out of all of these three the nika ultra matte are the most long lasting lipstick that i have uh this one is much lighter as compared to the other two actually this is one of the lightest lipstick uh, amongst all of them that i'm going to mention it is more it has more prominent pink undertones to it and because of that it looks more feminine and more um muted muted purple so it gives a hint of red a hint of purple and a hint of pink all in one so it's a very unique color i really like it okay so i mentioned three drugstore lipsticks now for the three high end lipsticks that i'm going to mention the first one i have a tester of this this is the ofra long lasting liquid lipstick in the shade milan when i tried it in my 
uh, review video itself i absolutely loved this color it's very rich very right up my alley shade super super rich looking and it's so beautiful it's amazing let me see in comparison to others yeah it's much darker as compared to all of these colors this is much dark but it has very prominent red undertones to it and that's why it looks even more rich on the lips uh, the shade milan was my absolute favorite amongst all the shades that i tried i'm not a very big fan of the formula since the formula is very identical to the nyx soft matte lip cream and the price is 1500 so you can pass on this if you're getting copenhagen uh, but i do love this as well and i have the small tester and when i run out of it i'm going to get the big size lipstick only of the color because i love this color and the next lipstick i'm going to mention and the next two both are from smashbox you know in the high end range smashbox makes one of my favorite lipstick formulas so the regular smashbox lipstick the be legendary matte lipstick in the shade um what is the shade called jam on it matte yeah the shade is like wiped off it's a pretty old lipstick at this point this is the shade jam on it matte and i'm going to swatch it right here This one is very very similar to the NYX Copenhagen lipstick but of course the formula is a bullet lipstick very rich in pigments Smashbox lipsticks are amazing it's first swipe full blown application and it's the correct amount of matte like it's a comfortable matte it will transfer throughout the day but last you for very very long like a good 6 to 7 hours and this color jam on it matte is um this is more purple like this has more prominent purple undertones than i feel any of this Uh, the last one I'm going to mention is going to be very unique to the entire collection. But if you want like a dupe of uh, Smashbox Jam on It Matte, I think NYX Copenhagen, the one on my lips right now, is pretty identical. Okay, so for the last lipstick of the day, which is my recent obsession, it's the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Disorderly. One of my subscribers, uh, you guys, had also recommended this for me, and then I went ahead and purchased it from Sephora, and I fell in love. When I swatched it, I realized that why do I not own this lipstick already? This is so beautiful. The color is the most unique as compared to all of these lipsticks. Do not have a dupe for this one. It's very, very unique. It's the right amount of vampy and feminine mixed together, and exactly the kind of shade I love using. This is the lipstick I've been wearing the most in most of my photos these days. This is the lipstick I'm wearing uh, because I love it, and of course, the Always On Liquid Lipstick Formula is the most comfortable liquid lipstick formula I have. It lasts for super long. It is super duper matte, but it's not drying at all, and I love the comfortable. Feel it gives the lightweight feel it gives, and it's super luxe. Like Smashbox is always on the money. Like it's worth the two thousand bucks that I pay for this lipstick. And of course, if I'm getting use out of it, it's amazing. So you can see that this particular lipstick has no dupe in the family. At least I could provide a dupe for this one, and that's the reason I swatched, decided to swatch this time on my palm because this swatching gets a little messy. It goes in the clothes, and this is more convenient. I can like show you whatever I feel is a dupe. Uh, and you can understand better. So if you like this technique, let me know in the comments. So from my next lipstick videos, I'm gonna do that. Something else, also you guys told me I should be doing in my lipstick videos is bare skin swatches, which I feel for nude lipstick it's very right. I should start bare skin swatches, but. uh for these dark colored lipsticks it's it will look good on you you don't have to think about it even once that it's going to suit me or no just go for it especially when you're brown indian skin with a rich skin tone like that you going for a deep rich nice lipstick looks very very good on your bare skin yes you have hyperpigmentation around your mouth granted but i feel personally that deep brown nudes and deep purple burgundy lipsticks look very very good on indian skin and most of my burgundy lipsticks if you will notice have a little bit of red undertone very prominently in them so they are more feminine than they are vampy but you can pull it off if you have the right amount of confidence and you trust yourself like you just have to trust that you can pull these lipsticks off i know they can be a bold statement but they are the correct amount of bold statement you need in your makeup So that's about it. This completes my more burgundy lipstick video. I wanted to make this video for the longest time, but I was not able to select the perfect top six to show you all in a video. And I wanted to top five, but then I could narrow it only down to top six. I could not eliminate any more. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. If you did, then please don't forget to hit the like button. I will see you guys next Wednesday or next Sunday, one of the two days. 
in the week for my new video until then please stay tuned if you haven't shared my video with your family friends yet then i think it's time to do that i think it's time to grow our family a little more so please just share this video if you liked it and i will see you next time bye guys love you all mm -hmm.